Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the HTML form handling and PHP section. This is using the action attribute. Until now, we've been handling the response to the form submission on the same page as the form itself. Oftentimes, there's no need to present the user with the same form over and over again. It might make sense to move them to a new page or thank them for their submission. This is where the action form attribute comes into play. Since we have not specified an action yet, HTML defaults to submitting the form data back to the same script that defined the form. If you would like to have the user navigate to a new URL and handle the form input there, you can specify the URL in the form's action attribute. Since the action attribute specifies a relative URL, you can also enter the name of a PHP file in the same directory as the current one. For example, given this directory, we have index.php and receiveform.php. To handle form using receiveform.php from index.php, you would use the following. We would give our form the action receiveform.php. This works for both get and post methods. Our instructions say 1. We've set up a form to collect the user's first and last name using the get method. Modify the form to use greetuser.php to handle the form input. Let's do that now. Let's run that. We do pass. 2 says open greetuser.php and replace this code here with the user's name. Use the PHP shorthand for echo within HTML. Be sure to use the git super global. You should concatenate using PHP's dot operator the user's first name with a space and then the user's last name. Let's do that now. Let's run that. Oh, forgetting underscore. Run it again. And we do pass. Let's go ahead and submit this form. When we submit it, we are redirected to greetuser.php and we get our greetuser.php file, which we see here thanks. Your name has been recorded as, and then we're able to access the data that was submitted into the form using our get variable and accessing the first and last name. So the main thing we're learning here is about the action attribute. Once a form is submitted, you might not want them to stay on that same page and you're able to redirect them to a new page thanks to the action attribute here. As long as that file is in the same directory, you would just write the file name in the action attribute. And once the form is submitted, it will redirect to that page. As long as you're understanding that, you guys are getting using the action attribute and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, quick question for you. Are you happy with your current job or career? Do you like to go to work every day and see yourself doing what you're doing right now forever? If not, I'd like to share with you a little bit about the sponsor of this video, The Programmer Coach. The Programmer Coach is an online coding program that helps people learn how to code and get a high paying job as a software developer. Their program is unique in that they teach you how to code by doing through practice, which is truly the only way to learn any skill at the end of the day, right? Plus, they provide you with coaches to help you whenever you run into any issues. They also have career coaching and placement services, where they work with you and help you get your first job as a software developer. And the best part, their program is affordable and accessible for anyone and everyone. That's right, you won't pay the bulk of your tuition until you actually land a job as a software developer. To learn all of the details you would ever need and get all of your questions answered, Simply go to becomeaprogrammer.com, becomeaprogrammer.com. Once again, that's becomeaprogrammer.com.